You know, the good news we want to share today is God wants us to prosper and be in health as our soul prospers. And I can't remember how long ago it was, but it wasn't too long ago, Remington and I did the, an interview just like this. Then all of a sudden, as he's been serving the Lord, I guess God has a prosperity thing for him, and that's called a wife. And now they've been married, and they're both really excited about doing ministry. And you know what is so neat how God just takes us where we are. And I'm telling you, some of us have been pretty, pretty, pretty low. But then once we turn our life over to him, he starts working in us to his will and his good pleasure. And that's his good pleasure that we prosper. So it's kind of neat just to watch these two. Now, I've seen some struggles in their lives. And you know what? I guess she must be a pretty good cook. Because I've seen some uh, growth, quite a bit of growth in his life. Anyway, so how are you guys doing? How's the Lord dealing with you? Personally, honestly, it's been um, growing and learning. Um, one thing I can take out of it is a commitment and unconditional love through everything. And I just count the good and the bad um all joy so it's good i have a partner so yeah we're doing good we're uh life is great because we're putting the lord first and sometimes the way that you think things are going to go are not the way that they go but through it all as you focus on the lord you know that he's leading and directing you know it's the best way to go and you know that he's got all things working together for the good and we also know that what even what the enemy means for evil he te he turns for good so Karina and i even though we have some struggles and battles and everybody does mm -hmm. but as we uh, keep our focus on the lord we know that he's working all things together for the good because he does want us to prosper and be in health even as our soul prospers okay. and it just seems like i'm just prospering tremendously <laughs> well you know it's, i know it's god <laughs> would this is neat when you're born to this world you're born as a baby and you're a baby bawling and squalling but you grow and over the years through struggles and problems i remember when i was a little little boy it was during the um, first world war and all the men had gone to war and I was a I thought I was the king I was you know Jack Armstrong until one day I met a little boy that did, thought maybe he was a little tougher than I was and it's kind of wait a minute now I'm not Jack Armstrong anymore and then I started to understand and see what I'm trying to say is because of the struggles and the battles not only in physical life but also in Chris, the Christian walk it causes you to grow, to realize, and God's working in us. And that's what is so neat. Especially, I think one of the greatest blessings after becoming a Christian, if God's, he gives you a helpmate. And then, then you just work out your salvation with fear and trembling. Yes, dear, happy wife, happy life. No, but it's just so neat. And just watching these two, look at her. I mean, she's a pretty, pretty young lady. He's just an old coot, but she's just a pretty young lady. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, you know, it's just watching them. Just, and just letting God be God through it all, through the struggles and the battles. But the victories, they're tremendous. Now, what do you think about that? Is that true? I think it's very true. Um, we've been blessed with more than... I, um, we can really imagine we have a lot of people who are for us and we have family who love us and remind us you know how far we came from just individually as our past but now seeing us together um, now they're just it's a testimony you know to everybody who's who knows us and who um, who's just around us so yeah the scripture that comes to mind is just uh, love mercy and walk humbly with your God and so I just think that he uh, is bringing in uh, 
situations to humble us and keep us focused on Him and uh, to help us to love Him and to love each other. And so when we are humbled and we go through these experiences, we give more grace and more mercy to others. And we, um, yeah, and we can have, uh, we, we can minister more effectively, so. You know, it's, it's so neat. The Apostle Paul, now he was persecuting the church before, when he was Saul. But when he got saved, his whole life was changed. And one of the things he really emphasized, forgetting those things which are behind. Now, he's had a pretty rough life in the past, in prison and so forth. And she evidently had a relationship at one time, had a child now. But see, God's saying, forget the past. Let's go on from here. He's a pastor now, tremendously anointed as a praise and worship leader. And now he's got a family and he's got this dear little girl, just as cute as she can be because he's her daddy. And I know she comes, we had a little picnic the other day. She came up looking right in the face and threw a glass of water on me and the battle was on. But it was just so much fun. You know, she, I got all wet that I got her back. And But what I'm saying is how God can forget it. We forget the past. Right. And then we go on. Yeah. Now, if he would have thrown... This old rascal, I remember one day, <laughs> was doing an outreach. And he was only supposed to preach for about 30 seconds. He preached for about 30 minutes. And I had a whole bunch of water in, a, in containers, you know. We was going to have a big water fight. And by the time he got done, they realized what I was trying to do, and they got me all wet. And it was his fault. But that was kind of neat. So, but I mean, just how are you guys, you know, you just, now where listen, do we go from here? Who in the world preaches for 30 seconds? Let me just put that out there. And also, I didn't know, I, that was, the plan for me was just to preach. And then, uh, but somebody told him, hey. He's going to be preaching for five minutes or a couple minutes, and then we're going to get on. He wanted to get the jump on everybody, and he didn't get the jump on everybody. But guess what? Guess who he jumped? Me. And next thing I know, he's got me, and he's dunking me in the uh, in the water trough. I'm like, what is going on here? So that was funny. That was, that was good times. Yeah. Yeah, and, uh, yeah, go ahead. Yeah, but that's... But now I'm getting... Uh, grabbed and dunked in the water by another person my wife and she's uh <laughs> and my daughter and uh i just i think just god is so good and uh families and a helpmate you know that come along and just a daughter it's just amazing to be uh to be raising a family a godly family i believe that that's what the lord wants us to do is raise godly families and I believe that a lot of us went through what we went through because the godly family was not was not there and so we had to go through what we went through so it's an awesome honor and a privilege to raise a godly family with Karina and with Kira <laughs> you know one of the other things too after God gives us mates and way of life but he also wants us to be fishers of men to go share this this good news this gospel now she's been working with ladies we work with a lot of down and out people we house them and so forth and what have you and she's been working with some of these ladies now what we're doing now we're just talking to her today we're going down to where the lowest of the low street people live and we're going down we're picking him up and we're bringing him to a breakfast preaching to them then we'll take them back and we just drive around and just pick up these people come on get on this little van we're gonna take you to breakfast and she's gonna go down and do that what do you think about all that first of all your family that comes first God's first yeah. but your family and then then the ministry so what do you think about those old buzzards first of all then what do you think about the ministry I think that you know I, I couldn't imagine being married period before all of this um i gave my life to the lord got august 17th and um i just kept my focus on god the entire time but yeah god kind of had his cross paths and you know I, I just love him for his heart and he really just opened me up to a lot of things that 
I didn't know was possible, especially to love physically again with another person because it took a lot, especially with um, commitment too. Um, but we we stayed through it from afar, from afar and near, and um, it just opened a lot of doors. It was a clear path to just me being with him, and I surrendered to just letting God let me love another, you know, his son, and um, the rest is history. So we we're just trying to get a routine down, get um, life going together with God, and um, I'm excited about the women's, um, you know, ministry. I, uh, I used to be a director for the women's in Gallup, so I see my God opening to um, how do just more opportunities here with the women and I'm excited. I don't know what to expect, but I'm just gonna let God be God in that area. You know, I think that's all we all want to do. Really. Isn't that what it's all about? Faith, trust in God? Now here's the neatest thing. God puts a desire in your heart what he wants you to do. True. Now how could if it wasn't a boom boom boom, it wouldn't be he's and she's getting married. But if they didn't get married it wouldn't be people. So that's part of God's will is and then he blesses those families like he's I believe he's blessing these two and then plus the fact now that they're in ministry they get to go out and share with the love of God with other people and give them the opportunity and he does to, to give them that in fact I was just sharing a message not too long ago about God's called us to be fishers of men going out and share this gospel then we become more fulfilled than ever before as we do that. And both of you guys are involved in ministering to other people. At home, at work. Yeah. Whenever. Yes. Yeah. yeah. Get a chance to share with them. Yeah. So, um, yeah, she was the director. She took care of God's uh, daughters. And uh, she's been told, you know, that she has a that gift. I remember we were hearing that a few times and uh, so it's exciting to be able to come together on uh, and minister and that's what we're going to be focusing on is uh, number one ministering to God number one getting with God together implementing uh, Bible studies quality just me and her Bible studies with the Lord and I think a lot of times what we do is when we take when we go on a date night you know people often I think just leave the Lord out of it and so what we want to do is just put the Lord in there spend that time with Jesus one-on-one -on -one throughout the week and then we're excited to be able to then take that to the streets and take that to the lost and to the hurting and take that to our daughter you know we got a daughter we we want to we want to raise her in we want to be led by the spirit we don't want to force anything on her but we want to show her a good godly example we want to give her some good teaching at home so that's part of the exciting thing for me is just to uh focus on this uh, on our on our family and then um take that to the to the street so and, and get her fired up for for her uh, situation well, she she ministers it to the women at her work she works at yeah, a woman's well, you can see that yeah yeah and so just um and getting connected with the colonel's wife here and getting mm -hmm. connected with other women, women here right. in the church is just like uh, marissa like marissa yeah dan and marissa the lady that yeah. has just has a little baby and boy they it's my goddaughter your goddaughter yeah. i'm not saying you want one of those i didn't say that but i think you do but anyway let's not get into that <laughs> <laughs> just to see how you guys can go out and minister to people with that little baby and your little girl it's and as god just keeps working into us the more we yield to him do his will the more we prosper and be in health because this is what he's called us to do so you guys could want to maybe kind of just share a little closing yeah you want to go first or me no go ahead okay well in closing i just believe that as you follow the lord with all of your heart you're going to have some struggles you're going to have some ups and downs but uh we're going to have that keep that faith in the Lord like we talked about just trusting in the Lord with all of your heart 
leaning not to your own understanding and all your ways acknowledging him, he's going to direct your path. Do you have anything to say about maybe Proverbs 3, 5, and 6 and trusting in the Lord? Yes. Well, one, it's, um, we got married March 5th, so it was a good um, scripture for us to always remember. 3, 5. Yeah. And it's, it, yeah, there was a lady who gifted us with like a picture that had that scripture and she didn't even know that was our scripture for that day. So it's, um, we, this relationship has taught me to be vulnerable, to humble myself, to always apologize when the sun goes down and just love him unconditionally through everything and just accepting who he is. And just trusting God. And trusting God. Give her a big kiss. Right? Love you. <laughs>